And on the other hand, um, there are parts of Europe where an alternative, combative uh, vision is taking shape, and this vision is taking place in the banlieues of Paris or London. And it's a vision of an embattled uh, minority, oftentimes Muslim minority, which feels um, isolated, ignored, uh, uh, marginalized, and disillusioned. And so we have this strange uh, dynamic of a, of a, of a stasis, a, a fight inside the city between two competing visions that sometimes lead to uh, violence and terrorism. Uh, it leads to Islamic terrorism on the continent, we've seen it. But it also leads to white supremacist Christian terrorism. We've seen it in New Zealand recently, but we had seen it on the continent as well. Remember the killing of, of uh, Breivik in Norway, where uh, 59 uh, young uh, young uh, people died for somebody who was protecting Europe against Islam. So the real danger I think we face today is a Europe that is facing a, a profound identity crisis and that refuses to see it, and therefore doesn't want to engage in a real discussion about Europe's identity. 